The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. My greetings to Prissa and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who risked their own necks to save my life. To them, thanks not only from me, but from all the churches among the Gentiles. And my greetings to the church at their house. Greetings to my dear friend Eponidas, the first of ages offerings to Christ. Greetings to Mary, who worked so hard for you. Greetings to those outstanding apostles, Andronicus and Junius, my kinsmen and fellow prisoners who were in Christ before me. Greetings to Ampliatus, my dear friend in the Lord. Greetings to Urban, my fellow worker in Christ, and to my dear friend Stachys. Greet each other with the holy kiss. All the churches of Christ send their greetings. I, Tertius, who am writing this letter, greet you in the Lord. Greetings to you from Gaius, my host here, and host of the whole church. Erastus, the city treasurer, sends greetings to you, and our brother Quartus. And now, to him who can make you strong in accordance with the gospel that I preach, and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, in accordance with that mystery which for endless ages was kept secret, but now, as the prophets wrote, is revealed. As the eternal God commanded to be made known to all the nations so that they obey in faith. To him, the only wise God, give glory through Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. And our response is taken from Psalm 145. Day after day I shall bless you. I shall praise your name forever and ever. Great is Yahweh and worthy of all praise, his greatness beyond all reckoning. Each age will praise your deeds to the next, proclaiming your mighty works. Your renown is the splendor of your glory. I will ponder the story of your wonders. All your creatures shall thank you, Yahweh, and your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingship and tell of your might. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, Jesus said, And so I tell you this, use money, tainted as it is, to win you friends, and thus make sure that when it fails you, they will welcome you into eternal dwellings. Anyone who is trustworthy in little things is trustworthy in great. Anyone who is dishonest in little things is dishonest in great. If then you are not trustworthy with money, that tainted thing, who will trust you with genuine riches? And if you are not trustworthy with what is not yours, who will give you what is your very own? No servant can be the slave of two masters. He will either hate the first and love the second, or be attached to the first and despise the second. You cannot be the slave both of God and of money. The Pharisees, who loved money, heard all this and jeered at him. And he said to them, You are the very ones who pass yourselves off as upright in people's sight, but God knows your hearts, for what is highly esteemed in human eyes is loathsome in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord.